airclips.com Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is our plane for the return flight. One with the uh, special livery again. It's the uh, CEWE Fotobuch, special livery. One of our airplanes, the, the uh, Mike Victor. And uh, what we're doing now, we are pretty tight on schedule. That's the reason why we have to hurry up a bit. I do a very quick turnaround, but you can come along anyway. It's the uh, nose re steering again. Everything looks good. The a dome. General overview of the aircraft. It's fine as well. This one. It's the ground power connection for time being. There's no ground power connected, but there's a core light as well, as well as the nose wheel steering, uh, the nose wheel light, but it's on anyway. The uh, loading is in progress already. It's the forward hold. The engine again, I think I uh, told uh, about the uh, CFM 56-7B engine last time. Everything is in order. Looks good. Landing lights again. Deflect the door. That's the uh, air condition bay. So the wheels, they're looking pretty good for time being. Hydraulic reservoirs, everything fine. Tires. That's the aft hold. You can have a look inside. It's not loaded yet. Tail bumper. There's a little indication up there. It's still in green band. Stabilizer, 12 and a half feet high, by the way. Sorry, meters. 12 and a half meters, of course. That's the toilet servicing panel. So and we uh, do basically the same on uh, this side. This one is equipped with the uh, blended winglets as well as the other one. Exhaust tail cone. Anti-skip system. So, everything looks fine. So let's go, let's go flying.
Hey guys, welcome back on the real sunny side. Um, you can see where we are. I'm super happy to be back with uh, Sven and Felix. Thanks for having us back again tonight. Of course. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Felix and I, we thought you, <laughs> you would stay here. <laughs> Prefer to stay. It was an option I was considering, honestly. <laughs> <but> <laughs> so we heard you had a hard time. Mm. But now... Let's <laughs> do the real stuff again. <laughs> Absolutely. Super happy that you could make it again to pick me up. Thanks a lot. Of course. Very, very busy here. There was a crew change now, short turnaround, had to fit the cameras, everything. You already saw Felix walk around, zero time left. So welcome back aboard. Thanks for having us. And I, I shut up now. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> so Felix. Okay. Pre-flight pre checklist. Pre checklist. Whenever you are ready. Pre-flight, oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation, transfer and display switches. Normal outer. Window heat on, pressurization mode selector. Outer, flight instruments. Heading 221. Altimeter is uh, 1007. Heading 221, altimeter 1007. Parking brake. Set. Enter start levers. Cut off. Pre-flight check is complete. Thanks. So I can give you a tracks and distance yes check please. if you like. And this one is the uh, conventional departure as we know already uh, about the uh, GPS outage and jamming here in uh, Cyprus. Yes, let's so have a look. There's a route discontinuity. From Parfos it's direct to Genos. A affirm, yeah, direct to Genos. Genos. So, so <laughs> Parfos okay. is direct to Genos. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, so it's uh, straight ahead, 400 uh, feet. Yeah, 400 feet. And then it's uh, 220 degrees, 2.2 miles to Lanaka 3. Yeah, okay. From Lanaka 3 to Remax, 222, 14 miles. Okay. From uh, Remax to uh, Gipro. Is there an auto constraint at Remax? Yeah, 3000 or above. Yes. Perfect. Good. So it's uh, 268, 11 miles and 5,000 feet or above. Yep. So from Gipro to Corsa, 269 degrees, 21 miles. Yep. Altitude Good. constraint of uh, flight level 110 or above. Yep. And from Corsa to Paphos, 268 degrees, 10 miles, 130 or above. Yep. So Felix, I just received an unable required nav performance RNP again, and as we already see, uh, the ANP is uh, more than uh, one. Nevertheless, we'll do the uh, conventional departure, so yeah, uh, we could accept that. Let me have a little short look on the uh, nav options page. So Demi, Demi is updated. Okay, perfect. And uh, for the position page, yeah. Yeah, we have an outage of GPS left and right. Yeah, I think that's a problem. And uh, now you mentioned one of the uh, threats, so uh, we may consider doing departure. Um, anything else you can think of for our departure tonight? Um, yeah, we have a little bit of terrain to the northwest, so we have to make sure that we stay on the departure route initially. Uh, if we get a direct, we have to make sure that we have at least 7-1 uh, as the MSA show 71 is its sector other than that the runway is uh, we have no center line lights as i <laughs> realized last yeah. last time last yeah Sunday. we saw it last time it's so it's yeah. a, it's a little bit um a little bit dark maybe hello thank you very much perfect last bus on the way yeah. okay yeah let's uh, wrap it up um the um, echo status is good so there's nothing in the uh, til yeah, b beside the, uh, we have a um, uh, side window light uh, inoperative, but it's working now, so let's see how it will do. Okay, was it a carry forward? Don't know. Yeah. It's working now. Um, yeah, the uh, weather is uh, quite nice today, so it's not a factor. So we have uh, any notams you can sing about not for uh, our departure? No. Nothing. We talked okay. about the GPS jamming, of course. Yeah, I will come up to the um, mitigation via raw data later on. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, fuel status of 12.8 tons uh, for an estimated arrival of 3.3 uh, tons yeah. upon arrival in uh, 12, 
12 8 was requested as yeah, well. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, now to the uh, departure route, or let's start with the uh, taxi out. Um, we've done this last Sunday. There are some uh, yeah disconnect points, they call it. It's uh, Lima Alpha 1, Lima Alpha 2. It's a bit special here at the airport. I'm expecting taxi out uh, via Lima initially, mm -hmm. or he wants it on Charlie, less, uh, like uh, last Sunday. Yeah, most probably, yeah. Then uh, we go all the way down to intersection Alpha, uh, holding point runway 22 for the uh, takeoff. Yeah, the departure route. Uh, the important part is uh, we cannot rely on the uh, GPS, uh, and um, that's our, uh, as you may see, the uh, actual navigation performance already exceeds the required navigation performance. Yeah. So, therefore, we have to stick with the uh, raw data departure for time being. Yeah. And uh, we have now also terrain. Uh Position, position indication, indeed. so we can yeah. rely on the put My terrain. suggestion is we have a look during taxi out if the uh, A and P still stays the same. Yes. If uh, they exceeding one mile, then uh, we go full um, raw data. Yes. With heading select, not LNAV. Yes. But we can select VNAV, of course. And um, for the radar data raw data setup, I've inserted triple uh, two on course window two with twelve eight. That's the uh, Lanaka. VOR. Same on my side? Yeah, we can follow this uh, radial all the way to uh, Remax and then uh, we have to turn onto a radial uh, 088 inbound uh, of Paphos. Um, what do you think? Put in uh, Paphos on your set? Yeah, that would. It's uh, 117 decimal 9. Yeah, it's 79. That's a good idea. We'll do that. Yeah. But as soon as we have. Uh, full on our capability back, then we can uh, continue. Yeah, with and we have the ILS in standby as well. Yeah, that's our return. So concerning the MSA, as long as we have no GPS position, I would suggest that we stay on the SID. Of course. Otherwise, you almost lost <laughs> between them. Yeah. And uh, you cannot actually tell when you have the uh, arrived at the coastline, because it's dark outside, isn't it? Yeah. And we have a grid altitude in this area of 87. Okay. So as uh, soon as we left flight level 100, we should be safe in the in the whole area here. Yep. Anything you want to add to this briefing? I think that's the most important part for the uh, for the departure. Yes, of course. And the engine failure procedure is something I would like yeah, to know. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, I have inserted something in the fixed page already. It says uh, three miles and then uh, left turn. Which means uh, we are heading for the uh, water. Yeah, I remember that. And there's a position of the uh, Mediterranean Sea called Rixal, mm -hmm. and there's a holding established over at Rixal with a uh, to hold on the uh, 120 rail. Let's say uh, 300 degrees inbound right turns. I have inserted uh, Rixal in uh, fixed page number two. Yeah, perfect. There it is. Yeah, we'll do that, Felix. And uh, in we climb to which altitude? For timing, it's unknown. Yeah, uh, but uh, in case of engine failure? Yeah, uh, it says 2,100 feet on the uh, MSA. I think 3,000 feet should be sufficient. Yeah. And then we uh, return return back here to uh, do everything we need. Perfect. In Lanaka. Thank you. So I'm happy. 107 passengers. That's good. Perfect. One sec. Thank you very much for the good handling. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. We can close the doors. Thank you. So, Felix, uh, I have a zero fuel weight of uh, 53.4. 53.4. I've already checked with the uh, OFP. And it says uh, 200 kilos less than expected. Yep. Makes uh, 66 tons for the uh, takeoff weight. 66 exactly on the load sheet. Perfect. Excellent. So, I have a um, MAC cruise 25.2. And it's the Kay. same for the takeoff, so 25.2 for takeoff. Yeah, good loading. Of course. Off CG. That's what we like. So, for the entry process, I first of all, I go with a takeoff weight from the uh, FMC. Slides out, by the way. Thanks. So, I have uh, Lanaka runway 2 2 quick lineup, and I use the full length. Of course, it's dry. You already told me the uh, environment entries and uh, the rest is pretty standard on the right side. 
and uh, you know, take a weight from the uh, FMC and then we calculate I'll put in 66.2 yeah okay what I go with 66 but 66.2 is on the uh, safe side so we go on this side Ground hello to each at uh, 553 on stand 1 2 Bravo information Charlie request clearance. Yeah, so 2 at 553 Lana Gasta, my office. Okay, Felix, in this case I have a result. Go ahead. Shoot. Okay, it's uh, runway 2 2, quick lineup, flap 1, yep. acceleration height 762. Yep. V1 148, V R 148, V2 151. Yep. And we have D rate 2 takeoff. 9 from Lanaga, rate to Kobe. Kobe, fetch the clearance, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, 553. 2 553, clear to destination, Econ Delta and Delta Lima via Paphos 1, we skin departure runway to 2. After Paphos, flight plan route, climb flight level 200, scope 7215. We'll ask for the uh, 2 Bravo departure, yes. yeah? Uh, 2 jet five five three requesting the uh, Pavos 2 Bravo departure, please. Pavos 2 Bravo is approved. Okay, clear to uh, destination Echo Delta Delta Lima, Pavos 2 Bravo departure out of runway 22. Initial climb flight level 200 and squawking 7215. 2 jet 553. 2 jet 553, clearance correct. QNH 1007. Okay, 1007. Okay, copied. Okay, so the uh, thrust rating is DRA 2 takeoff. 89.0, 45 degrees, and the engine failure is at three miles Lanaka, uh, left turn to Rexhal, as you as you told me. Yep. Okay, so you can enter. Twenty nine degrees, wasn't it? Yes. Twenty nine. There you go. Okay, so we just uh, check it again. So we have acceleration height 762, which is fine. And uh, then D rate uh, 2 takeoff, 45 degrees, gives us 89.0. Yep. Flap 1, one uh, speeds V1 148, VR 148, V2 151. Yeah, it's all confirmed. Perfect. So what do you think for the uh, acceleration? I d on let's the go for 800. Agreed. Perfect. So we go LNF, VNAF. Yeah, we have to look with the LNF. Yeah, I think we... Oh, it's it's down to yeah, uh, the point zero 0.06 now. So yeah, we can, uh, maybe, use it's maybe precautionary we go with heading select. Might be a good idea. You can see during taxi, taxi out. Okay. I will uh, mention that if, if we change it. Okay. Yeah, do you, yeah. If you agree? I agree, of course. Okay. Okay. Has said something from downstairs for the hydraulic clearance? Not yet. Okay. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Just want to make sure that we are good to pressurize the hydraulic system. Yes, uh, clear to pressurize. Thank you. So we call you in a minute uh, for the pushback. The parking brake is set. You may lift us. Thank you, sir. I just lifted up now. Thank you. Before start okay. checklist. Before start checklist. Uh, flight deck door closed and locked. Fuel 12,800 kilograms. All pumps on. Passenger signs on. Windows locked. Locked MCP. V2151 heading 220, altitude flight level 200. Take off speeds V1148, VR148, and V2151. CDOP flight completed. Rudder and ALO trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing completed. Anti collision light on. CB4 start checklist complete. Perfect. So request pushback. A ground to your jet 553, stand 1 to Bravo, request pushback. To your 553, push and start is approved, release to Lima Alpha 1. Push and start approved to release on Lima Alpha 1 to your jet 553. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. 
Ready for pushback and uh, to Lima Alpha 1. Thank you, sir. Brake release, please. Brakes released. Thanks, Captain. Uh, commencing push. Uh, call you back for the engines. Roger, and we'll start uh, in sequence engine 2 and engine 1. We wait for your signal. Sure, Captain. Thank you. Stand by. I like the flag in the front. Yeah. So you see th there's someone below you. It's kind of damage, isn't it? So now he pulls us forward to uh, release point Lima Alpha 1. Okay, flight deck uh, clear for engine number two. Thank you. Start number two engine. Okay, flight deck pushback is complete. Brakes set, please. Brakes set. Thank you. Start a cutout. Start engine number two. One. <laughs> uh, engine one, you mean, oh. sir? <laughs> Sorry, engine one, of course. Yes, clear one. Um, I hear a strange noise. Maybe you. Yeah, something wrong over there. Start a cutout. So ground, prepare the airplane for taxi. Hand signal from the right hand side. Thank you very much and have a nice evening. You too, sir. You're welcome. See you on the right with the pin. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. He's calling us. We are in Lima Alpha 1. Uh, we are at Lima Alpha 1, uh, Toyota 553. Flaps 1. Plus one confirmed. Now is the transfer like control alert here. Uh, Sven, can you press recall, please? Okay. Okay, can you give him a clear sign? Yep, will do. Perfect. Rudder. Okay, before. There you go again. Taxi checklist. Okay. 
Before taxi, there I am. Generators are on, propeed on, anti ice off, isolation valve auto, engine start switches continuous, recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake, RTO, engine start levels. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Check guard equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checks complete. And uh, 2 eject 553 and uh, release point Lima Alpha 1, request taxi. Please stand up, please. Okay, 603, how long before you for taxi? 30 seconds, okay, 603. Roger. 2053, expecting 30 seconds to give way to the aircraft to your left, the requested first uh, uh, startup. Okay, no problem, uh, 553. Okay, we're on the aircraft to the left uh, via Victor Charlie. Uh, Alpha, holding point runway 22 two and QNH 1007, copy 2 EJ 553. So, left side is clear. Right side clear. Taxi turn off, lights on. Yeah, it's coming. There you go. That's our personal follow me aircraft. Perfect. Yeah. Car to the right, but stopping. Thanks. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's Felix. Kevin secure. Kevin secure, wonderful, thank you. Felix, can we turn it a little bit cooler? Ah, yes, of course. Are you sweating? <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, just a short reminder for initially it's 220 degrees track to uh, 3 miles, and then we follow the uh, triple two radial. Yes. Out of uh, Lanaka 12.8, which yes. is uh, identified. Okay, I call him ready? Yep, in sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Jump over the other one. <laughs> Alright, how I log in to EJ553 is ready in sequence, so uh, Alpha Run V22. Good evening to EJ553, Tower, uh, hold shot of round. Hold shot to EJ553. Saw the uh, windsock earlier, and it's uh, right on the runway. So it's captain's takeoff again. Oh. <laughs> 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 but I'm sure you can handle it as well. Oh yeah, we'll try my very best. <laughs> I switch off the lights here. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Line up runway two turn with. No, wait runway two two to jet uh, five five three. So project is clear now. And before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist flaps. One green light. Stabilizer trim. Five point. Four units. Before takeoff, check the plate. It's 
easier, isn't it? <laughs> With lights. <laughs> Sorry. So, triple two. You have control? I have control. Clear runway 22, clear for takeoff, wind 230, clear 08 knots. Clear for takeoff, runway 22, to jet uh, 553. Okay, ready? Can you switch on the landing lights, please? Ready? Ready. Thrust set. Eighty knots, check. Rotate. Off to right, here. We have speed. Check. N one. Check. Up. So, so three two. miles. Now we follow the uh, two two zero radio. Mm -hmm. Radial triple two. Yep. Set standard. Standard. Flight level two one. Standard level two one. Die after of checklist After takeoff, engine bleeds on, packs auto, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights. After takeoff checklist completed. Thank you. So the A and P is at zero 03 again. Okay. Looks like that the uh Dimi Dimi update is working now. Okay. So I think we can uh, refer to Elnaf. Yes. If you don't mind, so select Elnaf, please. Elnaf. Check. We still have the raw data information behind. Yeah. Let's position it. Two jet five five three is passing now level seven zero. Do you have a, a radar signal from us? Affirm. Thank you. So you may switch to power fast on your set. Just yeah. make sure that we have uh, zero. Radio. Yeah. It's a radio zero eight five for time being. That we're turning. Yeah. Looks good. The cabin. Okay. Climbing level 320 and we request flight level uh, 380 to jet 553. Roger. 
Okay. There you go. Command. Check. Okay. So, Felix, I'm off for a second. Okay. I have to see. Uh, I just talked to the uh, cabin and told them we need some coffee, of course. It's a uh, standard procedure here. And uh, I told them that we are nearly on time in Düsseldorf, which is um, now 10 minutes past 11 this evening. Yeah, considering the active change, I think that was a pretty good turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Good uh, work by the cabin. Very good work by the cabin. Oh, it's always a little bit stress input with these aircraft changes. Yeah. Yeah, we have to tell them later on, of course. So what we do now is we we make sure we get the right uh, altitude for cruise, and then we we want to know <laughs> 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 okay. about your week, of course. <laughs> we heard already that you have a hard time. It was tough. Very hard yeah, yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Direct to uh, Peter, two jet five five three. So, Peter, yeah, happy. Execute. It's pitch black outside, isn't it? Yep. The Venus again, Felix. Yeah. Is it not a little star? Oh, is it? Yeah. That's Venus, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I nice. I don't know the, the other one. Can you see the other one? Yeah. Just on the left hand side. And what is that? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Venus' little sister. One good thing in uh, long haul is when you're over at the Atlantic Ocean, everything is pitch black down. Uh, so you actually can see the Milky Way and all the stars yeah. and it's, yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. I, I saw the Milky Way there yeah. over the Atlantic. Funny enough, you could see it from Cyprus as well at yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. Is it dark enough? Yeah. There? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to see in Germany because it's so so bright at night. Yeah, impossible. It's, it's all the city. Impossible. Yeah. yeah. I saw a chart um, on the internet where it uh, shows uh, the lightning pollution 1960, 1980 and now and you see it's, it's getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> Can imagine. So 1000 feet to level off. Check. FMC speed Wienerf pass. Check. Okay. It is a bit of coffee. Yeah. So honestly, I'm, I was very jealous. You know why? I was Tell jealous me. on Patrick. Because <laughs> he <laughs> was one week in the nice <laughs> sun. <laughs> <laughs> while we were sitting in the rain. Yeah. Is it? But that's not on? true, Felix. <laughs> we had a nice day. Oh, yeah. Week. I already told Patrick yeah. that we flew a Piper 28 yeah. together. That's nice. Change seats, so, so he so told he showed me how to fly a Piper 28. <laughs> so what do you do when you're off and not flying on duty? <laughs> you're <laughs> flying to not always, <laughs> not always. <laughs> Sometimes. What can I, I? I I was frankly considering just, you know, to throw my cell phone into the Mediterranean and just to stay there forever. <laughs> Perfect. <But laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So you <laughs> talked about the, that with the uh, chief. With uh, yeah, absolutely. The CEO <laughs> had, had a nice <laughs> chat with Walter there, the yeah. the boss, um, the club director was really nice and had a you know had a great look into all the different yeah. things. Ultimately, unfortunately, I've been. Uh, you may have noticed that the setup of the really good cameras here is a little bit different. We had four on the way down. Now we have three on the <laughs> way back <laughs> because just the last day I thought I should take some fancy um, water sports footage. Okay. Just for a few seconds to blend it in. I got that footage, but on one camera which was not waterproof in that setup, the last word that I heard from the surfer was a nasty Loop. word. And then I got some underwater <laughs> footage. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, 
you so know, no shark on the that movie. No, <laughs> now it's killed. So I lost one of my best cameras. No. But uh, you know, <laughs> it's uh, no. Who cares? It was great. Good okay. argument to get a new one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Should get a new one. A better one. Yeah, maybe if I can afford. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so you guys went out flying. And was it on uh, Wednesday or Thursday? On Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, yeah I Wednesday think it afternoon. was on Wednesday. Yeah, F Felix gave me a call and he said, "Hey, um, uh, I did it years ago, <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, I want to get a little bit of praxis." And um, yeah, yeah. Especially, he wants to fly to my home, to my uh, yeah, my home place. You mean your home airport? Yeah. <laughs> you live basically on the airport now. Yeah, it's no. a very very <laughs> nice airfield, <laughs> and the near um, or nearby Paderborn. And uh, yeah, the nicest you one, said. Felix. The Pardon? nicest one. The <laughs> nicest one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Of course. And you took a club aircraft, or yeah, Felix is in a club in the. Uh, uh, in another club, of course, and um, we uh, took a plane there and uh, we flew yep. around the area and had a nice afternoon. Yeah, nice. And he, I've he did a great job. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> From the left hand side, uh, <laughs> yeah. always switch sides. No, it's um, I haven't done that uh, probably around 20 years. So, uh, and uh, oh, really? Yeah, of course, I uh, had to visit a flight school before that. Okay. Uh, couple of hours on the uh, Piper 28 already with a uh, flight instructor and then I got the uh, rating back after check ride okay and nice. uh, yeah that was basically my first flight after the uh, check ride when I got my rating back but uh, you know still an airplane but it's very nice to, to fly these uh, smaller airplanes yeah Fist fun engine, single yeah. Engine. and the airport w were quite different because <laughs> oh yeah at Felix uh, base airport they have a runway of 2200 meters Okay, and uh, we have just 600 meters, which uh, is about 1,800 feet uh, oh. on, on my airport. Okay, and, uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's quite different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the plane was different to the 737 as well. Mm. Much more complicated, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you're not used to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have you checked the footage already? Yeah, I have. And yeah, super nice. It was funny, yeah. Super nice. I mean, you guys there, you've seen the footage already, right? And I mean, you would agree, I guess. It was really, really nice. Of course not. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. And actually, I, I caught your landing in Lanaka. Oh, this landing. one just, yeah, the one you just had, yeah? Was oh, the, the, uh, on the uh, Tui Blue. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a nice livery, isn't it? It's nice. I like it. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> Sorry for this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Great. So, no, we are fine. So enjoy. Felix will do an announcement right now. Is it okay? Thank you. Thank you. This aircraft has a highly sophisticated uh, cup holder to your right. <laughs> you see that there? Already in use. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know about it. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's not an airplane. Yeah. You have to say hello? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> hello. You know, it's <laughs> with the uh, landing lights, it's it's something... Um, they're f they're the actual outside air temperature right now... I uh, know what you're up to. Yeah. It's minus 45 degrees, so... If you switch it on, it, it goes from minus 45 to plus 500, m even more. So it's ah. uh, so you can do it on the max, so it has LEDs. Yeah, but here, I guess <laughs> it's a lot of stress for the light, so... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. So, but sometimes it could happen that... Um, no, he's absolutely correct. Company... So it's, it's temperature. Difference is too much. But on the LEDs, we say hello. Yeah. Uh, Bye. On the max, using yeah. the landing lights briefly. Yes, yeah. oh, that's nice. It's cute. And uh, we did it in the former times. We did it a lot. And of course, you know, it's it's like with the motor uh, cycle riders. They say hello. Yeah. We <laughs> switch on the lights, but they found out that 
the stress is so ah, much okay. that we have a lot of um, um, failed landing lights, and it's I don't know how much a landing light uh, will cost, but in aviation, <laughs> in aviation <laughs> maybe five hundred dollars, yeah, minimum. Yeah, yeah minimum. So yeah. Um, we save that. Yeah, but we'll do it again on the Max okay. with the LEDs. <laughs> okay, well that's good. <laughs> but we check with the technician first. <laughs> yeah. So Felix, I have all. If you, you want all. to do an announcement, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> did I mention millions of users will watch it? <laughs> oh my gosh! So just no, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I started with a German Just one, so <laughs> don't worry about it. You know what? I use the uh, microphone. Good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your first officer speaking. As uh, usual, it's time some short information concerning our flight today back to Düsseldorf. We uh, departed from the airport of Lanaka uh, to initially towards the southwest, uh, south of the island, then uh, with a slightly right turn towards a roughly northwesterly heading. We just passed or entered the uh, Turkish airspace. Uh, we just passed the city of Dalaman. We're heading towards the Turkish city of Izmir. The cruising altitude this evening are 38,000 feet. That's around about 11,600 meters. The cruising speed up here, uh, slightly happy component, it's around about 800 kilometers an hour ground speed. This gives remaining flight time to Düsseldorf of uh, three hours and uh, 10 minutes an hour. So it'll end approximately at uh, 15 minutes past uh, 11. Our further routing past the uh, city of Izmir, entering the Greek airspace, uh, north uh, east beam the uh, city of Thessaloniki, then further on via the cities of Sofia and Beograd, then southwest of Budapest, entering the Austrian airspace just south of Vienna, then crossing Austria via the city of Linz into the uh, German airspace north of Munich, and then further on via the city of Nuremberg and uh, north of Frankfurt on course direct to Düsseldorf. Finally, the most important news, the weather forecast. The airport of Düsseldorf, it's uh, sky clear, reported the temperatures of 23 degrees and a light northeasterly wind. I hope you feel comfortable aboard and enjoy our flight. Thank you very much. So I'm back. Yeah, nothing new, Felix. So Patrick, in the uh, resort, did you do some sport or you just uh, <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed the food? <laughs> well, yeah, okay. It's, it's a bit nasty that you're asking the question the way you do, because really I didn't do much sport, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> no, frankly, I, frankly, I worked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I had a nice weekend now, but during the weekdays mm -hmm. it was basically more than full-time work. Mm -hmm. But I had an early morning swim in the ocean and a late evening swim as well. And hey all yeah. and is it is it nice? Is it's it warm? Uh, it's like a bathtub. It's it's so hot. Yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. I yeah. that. And of course there was great food. So I really you know, <laughs> but um, what I what I really have to say is you know I'm I'm totally uh, Robbie nice now, and I, I can't I can't stay like this anymore. Yeah. So guys, here we go. Ta da! <laughs> you see. Now I'm amazing. Yeah, <laughs> th that was fast. Huh? Yeah, that was <laughs> fast. <laughs> really, it's only possible it's <laughs> on air clips. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm totally Robinized now because um, we haven't been lucky with the uh, Robinson Resort schemed uh, airplane on the return flight. So I thought I need to compensate for that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fitting outfit, isn't? It? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I thought you you. You came in a r in a Robbie costume. Yeah, with a <laughs> Robbie hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess my 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 bald head might be a little bit too <laughs> fat for the <laughs> Robbie hat <laughs> sizes. So you but don't want to show us the uh, Robbie dance. Uh, um, I could. I'm not. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if you really want to see it. No, but really the 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 two nice things are for me. The two beautiful things are um, the food. Mm -hmm. and the people mm -hmm. and also what I really found amazing this time not being there with my family I arrived in the evening it was dark um, dinner was almost over yeah and um, I was super exhausted so I'm not the most talkative guy then necessarily and it took like five minutes that some family saw me sitting there alone hello and said mm -hmm. you know come join us yeah, it's, it's really yeah. and I think this is this resort mm. thing and it was super nice and really 
made some nice friends, some nice evenings with nice mm. people um, by by intuition. Really, it was really good. Th yeah, that was the same experience I I made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really something that you don't have in a regular hotel or location. Mm -hmm. It was really That's special true. about Robinson. And they have al uh, also these big tables where you yeah, you you can't sit alone. <laughs> actually, you could, but it's somehow it's you know yeah people are like course. hey come over here mm -hmm. come over there and yes mm -hmm. yeah, that's I like that mm -hmm. yeah it was really nice mm -hmm. yeah no and that was really enjoyable I have to say yeah yeah so nice to hear that. yeah yeah no it's really good so but now I think I have to get back and adjust to normal life yeah you know will be <laughs> will be hard as well <laughs> yeah have to do a lot of but editing <laughs> eating less than four times a day and <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but you know, we now have a Scandinavian high-pressure area. Oh, so it's it will be nice in Germany, ex exceptional nice for the time uh, of super. the year, uh, for very the next nice. week. So, uh, it, super it nice. won't be too hot. I, I mean, really, the weather in Cyprus was <laughs> just mind-blowing. Was out of the world. So that's really, uh, mm. really helpful. I th it was really like between 30 and 35 degrees, mm -hmm. but in a very enjoyable way with a constant sea breeze. Mm -hmm. Cuff okay for the entire week, no cloud uh, visible. Mm -hmm. So and the the, the seawater and the pools were 30 degrees mm -hmm. something was wow, it was really nice. So I hope you will show something of your week in the video. Absolutely, I've already shown some stuff. Um, between our flights, but Perfect. but now as a little special, I can show you how my my precious camera died. You <laughs> see, <it? laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> Here's the sequence, guys. Enjoy. Nine. <laughs> this is life, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. And I don't regret anything. It was, mm. th and actually, the footage was great, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> it was absolutely, really fun. They got everything for for water sports mm. and for all the different courses. They got whatever yoga, workout. They have also this uh, cats. The cats. The, uh, the um <laughs> <laughs> they, they have a lot of cats there, but I'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean the s the sailboats, um, the catamarans. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> I have control. We call it cats in, in, in Germany, <laughs> you know. I, I don't know, maybe it's something different. I probably just got too much sun today. We have some uh, yeah. special words for okay. it. <laughs> yeah, they got them as well. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here first off again, some additional Android information on the right and lower side, a pretty nice view of the uh, city of Izmir. Thank you very much. Back. Yep. Nothing, Felix. So what I what I found really fun during this week was, uh, you know, you you guys you knew that uh, you know the 737 Max which I don't have in my pro portfolio, it always gives me a little ah, uh, you know, a little <laughs> uh, stitch into my heart when mm -hmm. I see pictures of it. So you you were trying to challenge me a little bit by sending all the nice Max pictures that you were flying, and yeah. I was trying to conquer that with some pictures from the buffet, right? So, <laughs> but you, you did some nice uh, max flying then in between, Felix. Yes, yeah? I love this airplane. It's nice. Probably the best airplane I've ever flew. Yeah. So I will do. Um, I will do the uh, the um, uh, the simulator in October. So uh, nice. okay. because Felix is based in Düsseldorf and they, the first uh, Max is based in Düsseldorf. So um, all the Düsseldorf pilots um, are Max rated. All right, and uh, we in Hanover, we get our first max in uh, October or November, so uh, we get the training now. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah. super nice. Yeah, it's, it's very quiet. If you yeah, we sit here without a headset. It's it's so quiet this airplane, mm -hmm. and it's so fuel efficient. Cannot believe that. Usually on a, on a flight to the Canary Islands, around about four to four and a half hours, you have a few consumption of. Compared to the uh, next generation aircraft, uh, 737 aircraft, it's uh, more or less two tons less. Wow, that yeah. <laughs> that's that's quite a figure. Yeah, and um, I mean also the 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 screens super fancy, large. Yeah, looks it's like on the uh, 787, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Felix, <laughs> <laughs> this is a special <laughs> thing. <laughs> Don't one day, one day, one yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
We're what? still uh, looking for it. It got to come when when the market. I think uh, the German market, to me, from an outsider perspective, the, the German market. Um, if you compare it to other markets like Italy, there's um, not a not a huge diversity when it comes to long haul capa capacity. I think mm. so it's not that many operators. So the original pre-COVID move of um, planning to add the 787 Dreamliners into the TUI fleet, I thought it was uh, a logical step. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of the uh, type of flying, what we're doing now, uh, so within Europe, North Africa, Canary Islands, and all the way down to uh, um, Cap Verde, it's, uh, and even to Dubai with the uh, 737-8, so which is the MAX, basically, it's, um, it's the most efficient airplane to use. So you cannot uh, use this 787 on the flight to uh, Palma de Mallorca and back for just a two-hour flight. It's, it's just not efficient. And on the other way, you have to um, fill the seats as well. Mm. So and uh, You're flying the, the, the MAX to Dubai? Oh, yeah. Is this capable to do that, even with a full load? Really? But yeah, it's not that far. But it's not. is that part of your operation right now? No, or? Not yet, but we could. <laughs> wow. Uh, but we plan to fly to Cap Verde. So it's uh, oh usually yeah, a six, yeah, yeah. six and a half hour flight mm. from uh, Hanover, I don't know. Yeah, six, six and a half hours, hours usually. Yeah. And it uh, depends on the winds well a little bit. Well, uh, with full capacity, so 189 passenger seats, what we put on the uh, Dash 8. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's a very efficient aircraft for our type of operation. So for that Cape Verde flight, and you couldn't do it with the 800 with a full load, right? Not, not with a full load. So well, that's uh, quite a I difference. I think we reduce the uh, passenger amount to 140. Uh, I to think Dubai. 165 yeah. to uh, to the Cape Verde Islands. 165, and I, I just remember yeah. Dubai flights, and I think we reduce the passenger number to 140. Yeah, could be. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's a massive. That's a massive advantage of the Max, right? Exactly. Of these course, of course it um, is. operations yeah. where it gets. And it is a very reliable airplane. So the, the third generation, this one, the ENG, it's very reliable, and the Max will be as reliable as this one. Oh yeah, no doubt. And uh, probably the most <laughs> or the best checked airplane yeah. worldwide. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. If you like, I can show you your landing, and you can. Who did the landing? It was probably you, Sven, I guess. Or yeah, yeah. So today you can give him a rating for that. Yeah, exactly. I, sh I show <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I show it to you, and then then you can give him you a know, rating. I, I gave him a rating on his Piper Twenty Eight landing. landing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I said it was perfect. It was just. One meter left of center line. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, that's what usually happens. So <laughs> the captains always land left on the center line, first officers oh on the yeah right. Yeah but yeah of yeah course, yeah. you have to avoid that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Guess what I did on the Piper 28? <laughs> <laughs> Landed left of center line. Okay, Felix, here we go. Now now for, uh, for a proper rating of the landing, yeah. Looks perfect, I can tell you. You mean <laughs> you mean the camera work? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> At least he's very self-confident, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an asset already. Always. Yeah, yeah, that was a smooth, nice landing, Captain. It, it was <laughs> pretty Thanks. good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a nice. Look at this well. nice, beautiful nice livery, yeah. Nice plane. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's this one and the Robinson yeah. plane. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think. Yeah. Here we you go. saw the smooth braking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also that. Yeah. No, just spoils the landing by no. saying he was left or center line. <laughs> <laughs> Could, no, couldn't have seen that. <laughs> just kidding. S some, you know, sometimes. <laughs> but isn't that even um, basically don't don't, or is that just an excuse that I was trapped? But uh, is isn't it the reason also to give some relaxation to the um, to the front gear, not to bang over the um, center, light, uh, center lights on the runway, which this runway didn't have. No, I actually, think. what you do is, when you land the aircraft, I it's a controlled landing. You know, the best landings, the passengers think that the best landing is the smoothest landing which is possible. But for us, on a pilot's perspective, it's a good landing is landing in the touchdown zone, yeah. a defined touchdown so you know you calculated your landing distance and so on so we know it's safe yeah what you normally do is you land the nose gear so you uh, 
Um, so you look that the nose gear is not dropping and uh, just touch down in a in a hard way, but you won't uh, hold it off the runway. So you Boeing says just land it, land it smoothly. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we um, look for, and uh, then we we let the auto brake system uh, do its work. But uh, yeah, we check also that we we break down. Um, very carefully it saves brakes but oh also yeah, yeah for the passenger comfort yeah yeah, yeah that's it basically and okay wrap it up yeah. so and, it's s and sometimes yeah. sorry on, on a wet yeah. runway if it's wet it's sometimes better to have a little bit more positive touchdown so the airplane uh, reaches the surface the brake system works all right the um, anti-skid system works all right so yeah, <laughs> okay. I said to wrap it up. It's to make a positive, what we call a positive landing. Yeah. It's not always a bad landing. Yeah, and a smooth landing is not always a good landing yes. from the pilot's perspective. Yeah, when I'm in the passenger cabin and I, <laughs> I see the, the the airplane. He do he does it. Um, he's um, he's landing and it, he's floating all the time. Yeah, so I get nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how much meters? <laughs> you lose per second. Yeah, between <laughs> sixty and eighty meters yeah, a lot. per second. A lot. Oh, oh yeah, from yeah. the uh, from the runway doing flare. Yeah. So if you flare extensively, it's yeah, you lose probably most part of your runway. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about landings, um, I think most passengers they think that uh, when you do uh, or the most um, airlines use an automatic landing, or let's say the, the most planes do an automatic landing. Which is just not true. So it's uh, probably due an automatic landing. It's uh, one of the most complicated landings mm -hmm. you can imagine, um, and usually they are not very smooth either. So okay. <laughs> that's uh, that's funny part. So not every uh, not, not not every airport is uh, certified to do an automatic landing, and of course not always um, or every airplane is certified to do this an automatic landing. And when have you done your last one? I think my last one was in the simulator. Yeah, my one too. If yeah. Fully yeah. automated. Yeah, fully that's automatic. pretty rare, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I was. Um, it's very rare to do an automatic landing. I mean, I, I always feel good with the hand flying part. I, I noticed you brought her up beyond 10,000 uh, after takeoff as well manually, yep. right? So I always feel good with the hand flying part of it. And I, I recall uh, I was uh, on some duty travel in China and it was mm -hmm. an absolute cov okay day, brilliant light. I was flying uh, in front of the cabin, not far from the from the door. It was an Airbus 320, and we were taxiing off the runway after landing. And then, and then I heard the doodlut, 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 <laughs> autopilot oh, okay. disconnect. I thought, ah, yeah. oh, no, come on, yeah. <laughs> this should have been done manually. Yeah. yeah, we normally we do these automatic landings only in uh, in bad weather condition when it's it's uh, foggy, and um, the reason for that is. The airport needs a lot of systems and a lot of backup systems and then you have to watch carefully if the signal strength is okay, if the signal is uninterrupted and uh, yeah. for us it's a, it's a lot of checking because uh, there's if something happens you have to react very quickly. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. What would it be called, like CAT3? CAT3 landing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have CAT3 Alpha on this one, so that means uh, we have... Uh, we have to see the some some kind of lights, at least at 50 feet radio radio altitude, which okay. is about 15 meters, and um, we needed a visibility of about 200 meters. Okay. And uh, this is um, yeah, this is special. And on the 78, we had Cat Free Bravo, and it um, there. You, you touch and you see the first light. So it has no decision height, basically. Yeah. So it's oh yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no decision yeah. what you make. Yeah. So and uh, occasionally you do bounce landings as well, <laughs> isn't it? When you start the uh, go around, even before yeah. you touch down, you usually I uh, um, do a touch and then you go around. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. But this, actually this airplane, this is a fail operational airplane. And even if we have, uh, we have, we are not also our airlines not certified to do an uh, cut three B approach, which is an approach without decision height. But this 
Actually, this airplane is uh, capable to do this. Okay. This is a fail operational airplane. Okay. So you could use, uh, if we <laughs> would have the uh, certification for that, we could do a uh, rollout guidance and even do a Cat 3 Bravo without decision height. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and you guys, you, you already had a long working day today, but you look totally fresh and relaxed. Like, uh, what's, <laughs> what's the secret behind that? Did you... Did you have? <laughs> 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 did you have? Yeah. Uh, you've been working during you. during the week. You've been uh, flying during the week too. Or? Uh, yes, I I went to um, Mahon, Menorca. Okay. And uh, I went to Patras in northern Greece, which was beautiful. And um, yeah, you know we're used to it. Yeah, ob yeah. <laughs> obviously. And I, yeah. and I had two days off at home. It wasn't was uh, good so that's like the usual pattern that you would have something like few how many days on how many days off is there any it depends yeah. in the moment it's still uh, the um, covid flight plan which is sure. um, not the normal one yeah but uh, usually we we work like five days on two days off or three days off and okay. then uh, maybe four days on so it depends and we have uh, quite different flights. We fly, th the shortest one is like, um, or the, the very shortest, it's the night mail. Uh, but we the normal shortest passenger flight is Palma de Mallorca, which is uh, like a seven, eight hour working day. And the longest days are the Canary Islands. Yeah. Uh, we fly to Tenerife and back, which is about 13 hours. So, and uh, we have different times a day. So sometimes we start at two o'clock in the morning. Wow. Sometimes we end at two o'clock in the morning. So y this is, this is, you have to get used to it. It's this is special. Part, huh? And um, it depends on this schedule. If you have three days off, sometimes you have four days off. So, um, which is, uh, which is good. You, you just said night mail, you, you're flying mail services? And yeah, we fly mail. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this still exists. No. This is amazing. Yeah. So Hanover, is there uh, no night curfew for these flights or? Um, no, actually not. But, um, we have an exception for Stuttgart. Okay. The worst thing is Hanover is uh, 24 hours. Uh, well, <laughs> well, bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. This Good. is worse. Yeah. But it's yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's awesome. I, I really thought for some reason this stopped many years ago, but and I didn't know the TUI was engaged in it at all. So this is yeah, nice. Ah. Uh, or a letter or something. And um, they changed it and they tried to do all this uh, route with a, with a, on the road. Okay. But it didn't work, so. Yeah, okay, this part, I d because I, I, I heard the, the thing with the, they stopped, they put it to the road, but I, I, never, I never knew it didn't, w it didn't work out. And they changed it again. Amazing. Yeah. So, and how is that done? This is done on your regular passenger aircraft and you got these bags on the yeah. seats? Cool. It, it's, uh, the logistic is, is quite complicated, and they uh, have to get all these boxes on the plane within like two hours, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work to do that. And then it's just an hour flight to, to Stuttgart or to Munich, and they uh, get all these boxes uh, off the plane and on the, uh, on the road again. Amazing! Really so amazing. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I would <laughs> love to <laughs> any time. Yeah. yeah, it should be very interesting. Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh. Maybe you have to uh, you have to glue a camera to a to a letter <laughs> on a package. Or something. And in fact, this is what uh, this is exactly the the thought that I had because when I do cargo planes, I really like to put one camera onto a pallet, you know, and it. So, but for this fast thing, it could eventually be really something to have it on one, you know, yeah, shipment or something, one package. Yeah, amazing.
I, I would I would send that package. Okay. Actually, I told you I, I uh, ran uh, two uh, Robinson resorts before, so I plan. Yeah. To your image, I, I <laughs> images. I plan to go next year on a Robinson resort as well. Yeah. Maybe Cyprus as well. The, the thing there is really that the rooms are li it's new. It's like yeah. it's totally refurbished. The club has been existing on a different brand before. But it's like they build it new, and the rooms, it's like uh, still the smell of a new uh, room. And really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's obviously pretty nice as well. Uh, no, yeah, it's good. And it's, I mean, for us, I think it's it's relatively easy as well. It's a short flight. Uh, it's, it's European Union still. It's very easy um, immigration and that stuff. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And that food, man. I, I really need to, I need <laughs> to start sports <laughs> tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm lost forever <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah, mountains. yeah. Uh, you can, uh, as you did, you can swim in the ocean. You yeah. can get a sailboat. You can get a kite, something like this. Uh, I like the variety. Yeah. And, um, well, that's actually also a little bit of the downside because every time I went to the buffet for having my next load of five thousand calories, <laughs> I, I had to, <laughs> I had to walk past, you know, people kiting. <laughs> then I had to walk past a class that did the, you know, fat burning workout, <laughs> and, and, and then you walk past the swimming pool where they exercise. So yeah, there's, uh, it's, uh, it's and and they have this app where you just book yourself in. There's like two million activities. Food and sports and trainings and spa and massages and whatever. Most of it is free and included, and you just you know and, and you can do. You just uh, went from the massage to the. <laughs> 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 yeah, that 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 would have been fitting into the program as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just book yourself <laughs> in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and you know, after my vacation in summer a few months ago, I. I, I did not, you know, I was so happy in the club that I, that I never managed, I ne never overcame to delete the app from my cell phone. Yeah. And sometimes there came an alert, hey, now the massage is open for you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and every time I got that at home, I was like... <laughs> the best sound on the 737 is when you sit behind the wing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really... You mean the thrust very powerful the power sound? Of, yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah, it's different to the Airbus. I don't know. I think it's, it's more sounds like a can. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we get back into the. And on the Boeing airplane, you have a very strong sound by the <laughs> engines. <laughs> Even if it's the same engine. That, that's a very new dimension yeah. to my classic uh, Airbus versus Boeing discussions in my films. Yeah. You know, Yeah. I feel as a passenger, I feel the acceleration, the sound, everything. It, it, it's different. Yeah. When I sit here, I'm so concentrated. The I don't systems. Feel any acceleration, any any sound. I'm just concentrated. Amazing. You're just yeah. used to it. So. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. focus probably also. Yeah, the fo yeah. There's a lot of focus on. Yeah, that's true. And on the takeoff run, you may see on the video. Um, I always have a look on the speed rising on the engine. Yeah. around all the time, uh, including the uh, master caution system. So you're always, you're always prepared for, uh, for stopping the aircraft up to uh, the month, the decision uh, point, uh, or continue with an engine failure up to that point. So yeah, it's different. Yeah, I can totally understand that. Yeah. 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 You enjoy the flight. Yeah. 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 But honestly, I <laughs> I must admit, when I first flew uh, the uh, 737, I uh, moved from an ATR 4272 to an uh, Boeing 737-800. Was basically an empty 
uh, airplane because we had to do some uh, traffic pattern. And I remember that when uh, we took off in uh, Nuremberg, it was <laughs> just like amazing. <laughs> it's it's total di totally different to the uh, turboprop ADR-42. I mean, it's, it's a very, very nice airplane, the ADR-42-72. Yeah. And it's, it's still flying, so it's a very efficient airplane yeah. as well and a reliable one. But, uh, you know, the acceleration from a jet engine is just different. Yeah, to a absolutely. So I think every airplane has uh, it's kind of uh, your specific sound. Like I remember the uh, the Afro, for example, oh. when they extend the flaps, it's like true. And when, when the braking is fine as well, so they have no reverse on the uh, Afro. Is that correct? Correct. So and uh, they're using this braking like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. They have the this. Off. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, really. So it's not and on which itself. type? Yeah. It sounds like a train coming. Yeah, exactly. Into a on on which type on the seven three? Yeah, no. On no. Uh, RJ. Oh, you flew the RJ. Yeah. I flew it, yeah. Ah. So ah, right, right, oh, right. I think you mentioned that on the uh, through flight. Oh, you mentioned. Okay, yeah, I was in the, rear, yeah. in the rear. Exactly. So okay, yeah. perfect. I okay, I great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that's lovely. Yeah, that's I lovely. Uh, what a plane, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Did did you ever have a blown engine on that one? Um, was was a bit notorious for that, right? Yeah, yeah you are right. Uh, yeah, one actually one time we had uh, low oil pressure on one engine. Okay. And it was um, uh, we read the checklist and it was uh, we had to shut down the engine. Oh, okay. And it was into Barcelona and uh, it was just normal flight. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> it was just a normal landing. Yeah. And uh, we were not allowed to fly back to Munich thereafter with passengers, but we were allowed to fly it uh, as a ferry flight. Three, three engines. Three you've engine ferry, yeah. You've done it? Yeah, I've done it. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's they nice. They did a lot with it. Yeah. That can't imagine. It's my last yeah. company, they did it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. That was. Uh, Neural Wings. Oh, yeah. Okay. They had uh, BA 146, so not the Afro. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed. Okay. I don't know. I never flew this one. <laughs> okay. But you know what, guys? I, I just realized that I actually have been intuitively cheating on Walter and the Robinson Club. In a, in a You're uh, cheating? Yeah. I just realized it and I, I like that because unintentionally <laughs> I, I kept my room. <laughs> As it looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we have to return back to the Robinson Club. We are coming. To return the car. <laughs> exactly, we're coming back. Uh, did you learn the, the Robby song? I did, yeah. I did. <laughs> what about you? Do you recall how it goes? <laughs> yeah, I mean, ba background of this, you know, it's not going to happen now, but just before, you know, before we got ready, um, before the flight, we were actually singing the Robbie song here <laughs> yeah, because we all still remembered, but we, we decided not to bring it on camera. Uh, <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to hear it, like. Yeah, we can do the. Uh, Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's always good for a bounce, isn't it? <laughs> no excuses. Especially not before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I would suggest that we do a track and distance check out of uh, Natus. Yeah. And uh, I think there would be, or will be, sufficient. So, Natus? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Broach, straight ahead, 52 degrees, 
streets pretty much to Disney World free. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. And then it um, turned to Lima, 267 and 20 miles. Yeah. 4,000 feet would have been. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so we can uh, follow the LNF pass in case of uh, misapproach. So then, uh, is the uh, decent procedure, please? Okay, Felix. Uh, for the moment, the RMP is true as expected. The AMP, um, the GPS, is back in the air. Uh, it's still in the orbit, of course, <laughs> but uh, it's working like expected. We have a very precise position. For the approach later on, uh, this aircraft has uh, an RP of 5 and 400, so we have to enter 0 0.3 and 125 in case of uh, RP approach. Yeah, would be, be you planning for an ILS approach? So, so I Should keep it okay. like it is for the moment. Okay. And uh, we keep that in mind, so in case of an RP approach, I have to change it later on. Okay. already off. Just a lot elevation. I'm choosing altitude to center. One of the weak points of the 737. The call it the six pack. The six pack. Yeah, we call it six pack. But, uh, no so we'll check the performance. Yep. Which gives us a landing weight of uh, 56.3. Yeah, agreed. And um, MB4 flip 30 landing. Yeah, you have, uh, I think you deleted the landing weight. It's uh, uh, six point three. I think that's what you used. Yeah. Calculate. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. If you have a look, Felix, we can use every auto brake setting beside uh, one. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I uh, yeah. It's hard to get the Lima 4 takes away anyway, so I would suggest we use uh, Auto Break 3 for the landing. Yeah. yeah. So, speeds, we use that 30 as calculated. So it's 56.3. Yep, good. Yeah. Minimum for the ILS approach is 330. Agreed. Perfect. So what an upsetting. Yep. No, I think we, we put the ILS uh, active on both sets and um, on standby we put uh, Düsseldorf. 115.15. This is a very special request. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Could say standard enough set. <laughs> So flight level 3 is there set. Check. So this is and Lima, 
guess you want to have it on... Um yeah, on ADF, please. Thank you very much. So, what do you think? What's special for tonight's landing? Apart from the fact that everybody's watching. Yeah, you mean the high crosswinds. Yeah. No, actually, I um, I don't think we have any special. Um, maybe we had this uh, window heat uh, light on the left side, and um, just uh, to. For a short recap, uh, 1000 feet to level. Check. Just if it happens again, we switch it off as checklist uh, said, we can uh, still go to the checklist again and we have to pull the windshield there on my side. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's the only threat I can see Do you have any points? No, not really. So the weather conditions are quite fine, and um, yeah, probably it's uh, it's late, maybe. But uh, I think we are still very fit, and uh, so it's not really a threat at this point. Yeah, that's good. So the active status. Uh, you already mentioned the uh, overheat on the left side. I will keep two five zero knots uh, below flight level one hundred anyway. So uh, and uh, that's for mitigation. The uh, Weather conditions, check the uh, weather conditions, as I said before, it's uh, very good, so it's not uh, not really a factor. Fortunately, it's a northeasterly wind, so we have to land on runway 05, northeasterly direction. Uh, the uh, NOTAM status, uh, I think there was something in there about the uh, minimums as well as the missed approach, uh, but we already verified that. That's uh, yeah, it's incorporated. What we have in the FMC for time being is exactly like it's on the uh, NOTAMs and the uh, minimums of 330 feet is still set for an ALS approach for a Category Charlie ap uh, airplane on uh, ILS 05 right in Düsseldorf. Yeah. So, uh, brings me down to the uh, fuel status. So, Brussels, yeah. It's 2.1 for Brussels, and we have uh, an estimated uh, fuel up on arrival of 2.8 tons, so it's uh, sufficient fuel for an, um, a go around in another pattern, yeah, at least one, yeah. Two yeah, pattern one is nice as well, so. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, <laughs> the. Um, ILS approach, use of automation. Um, so expect a vector for the final track and I uh, use the um, auto flight system all the way until the intercept. Maybe disengage the autopilot at that point and uh, then fly the ILS manually. Um, there's nothing against it this, uh, tonight. So the uh, taxi in later. As I mentioned before, the uh, Lima 4 taxiway is quite close. so. Uh, even uh, we have a very light aircraft, um, yeah, usually it's hard to, uh, to get the Lima 4 without getting the uh, brakes too hard. No, so, and otherwise, um, yeah, we just vacate via Lima 3. Then the inbound taxi via taxi via Mike, and uh, yeah, let's see where, we, where our stand is. Maybe. Uh I will ask uh, our agent. Yeah, it must be on the C pier, I think. Charlie pier. One of the Charlie uh, positions, uh, yeah. Charlie yeah, or maybe in a uh, remote stand. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> anything uh, you'd like to uh, add for the approach? I mean, it's uh, basic, straightforward, isn't it? Uh, just the MSA. Yeah, thank you, yeah. It's good. It's uh, unchanged to <laughs> the departure. It's uh, <laughs> still at 2,800 feet, so 3,000 feet will be safe. Yeah. And. Uh, Yeah, there's a discrepancy between the glide pass and the uh, parpy. Yeah, it's, it's just a minor one. So once you're on the glide pass, you will see a different angle on the parpy position approach pass indicator. And uh, but nevertheless, so it's uh, just to let you know. Okay. And the uh, decent checklist, please. Check. Check. Auto brakes. Free. Landing data. 
VREF uh, 30, 136 uh, minimums, bow 330. Completed. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention the X circuit flight level 260 below. I think you know about this. Uh, yeah, I know about this. Airway restriction. Flex one. Okay, many flight, many is rest. Check. Almost where we left uh, today. Get down, flaps fifteen. Flaps 30, speed breath plus 5. Landing checklist. Landing. Engine start switches. Continues. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Sorting your light. Landing checklist continues. Last time push the anti ice. Okay. Side window left, correct? Yeah, Check. Yeah. Affirm. Yep. Yeah. So it's 11 left, it's tail. Check. Yeah, I know there's an aircraft coming opposite. You can actually see it. Yeah, do an RP approach. Five 
500. Check. 500. Check. Approaching minimums. Check. Minimums. Landing. Control. You have control. Uh, Victor 753, as cleared, Dick Lima 7, Victor 76, good night. Victor 76, where Lima 7, uh, do you jet 553 Tito? Ciao. <laughs> yeah, indeed. The uh, Robinson livery right there on the left. Light pole, yeah. Yeah, looks fine on the right. Felix, um, shut down checklist, please. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps, off except one propeat, auto, uh, hydraulic panel, set, flaps, up. parking brake, um, set, engine start levers, vessel radar, off. off, the uh, shut down checklist, please. Checks in place. So, Felix. This was an interesting day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an interesting landing as well. I mean, yeah. you, have, you have another aircraft opposite, um, then you're landing with tailwind. You can actually feel how it floated. <laughs> yeah. So, it, of course, it was a smooth landing, but it was not really good landing because it was a bit too long. But, you know, with, with tailwind, it's a very light aircraft. Yeah, but for not the to say. conditions, you yeah. did a great job. On the other hand, when you do a co-around and the condo is head-on. Yeah, 
<laughs> looked interesting. You're kind of uh, committed to land, <laughs> and uh, that's interesting. But it's uh, the controller at the end who decides yeah. what the minimum separation is, and of course he had a plan B in yeah. case we do a go around. A missed approach. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, Patrick. It was nice to have you here <laughs> with us. Thank you so much, Sven. And Thank you so Patrick much, Felix. Nice to have you here with us and uh, joining us on this interesting day with this uh, beautiful plane with a Robinson livery. And uh, I hope you have a nice introduction into the Robinson Resorts. I hope that uh, Patrick gave you something for your decision for the next holiday. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Hope to see you again on one of our planes. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Also from my side. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much in the name of all of us, guys. Thumbs up for these gentlemen, please. Leave some nice comments. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much for this nice trip. Really great to look behind the scenes of a special livery plane here to get a better understanding of what it is about. That's awesome. And usually w one thing that I've been missing for a reason is, okay. you know, and before we do the interviews in flight, you know, I have these world famous air clips, Hollywood pills for, <laughs> for adding some <laughs> relaxation. You guys, you've been such cool customers. You didn't need them, but now for an evening off, the Hollywood pills for you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for a relaxed evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, <laughs> Thank guys. <you>. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> a lot. Bye, everyone. Good one. <laughs> Wie ging denn das Lied noch? Ich habe das nicht mehr im Kopf jetzt gerade. Ah ja, genau. Was er nicht irgendwann dann so? Ja, ja. <lacht> Wie der Robby tanzen kann. Ja, nee. Vergiss es, das war ja. <lacht> Naja, genau genommen läuft ja schon alles, aber ja, nein, keine Sorge. Ja, das stimmt. Airclips.com <lacht>